Yes, tonight, Lauren, still some green and some lightning on that radar behind you. Yeah, we are still very active. There are still plenty of big thunderstorms out there. If you remember yesterday at this time, the eastern plains, it was a wall of thunderstorms. We do still have two severe storms in fairly rural areas of Lincoln and Crowley counties. But for the western side of the state, a lot of this is moving out, starting to diminish a bit. And we'll see this continue to chug across the eastern plains throughout the rest of the evening. Denver, we've had some showers. DIA got hit with a massive cell of really heavy rainfall, uh, over three quarters of an inch in about 20 minutes. We have scattered showers heading up near Evergreen as well. And then our far eastern plains out near Sterling right now, actually passing through the Sterling area. We're starting to see some rain move through Akron and Yuma. Still a lot of lightning, though, in those storms. And tomorrow we do have a chance of more thund thunderstorms as well. So here's our severe thunderstorm outlook. It's really to the east of, color of Denver and into Nebraska and Kansas and parts of Wyoming. So let's time it out. For the rest of the night, again, it'll take a while for those storms to diminish out on the eastern plains. Tomorrow morning we wake up to sunshine and a little bit of cloud cover here and there. And then we're looking looking at another chance for some thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening, even late in the afternoon for the far eastern plains, maybe not until about five, six o'clock. We see some of those fire up and this should mostly be out in the eastern plains, but we can't rule out maybe a straight thunderstorm across the front range in high country. And then those are gone late on Friday night. Let's take a look at our drought monitor because we have seen a slight area of improvement. Our moderate drought kind of this. I don't know what you call that light yellow color on your screen uh, that we've seen improved by 4%. Otherwise, no major change to our drought monitor. We have seen a couple days of very heavy rainfall in those thunderstorms, so we'll see some updates on that drought monitor in the next couple of weeks. But for now, this is what we're looking at. No major changes right now. 75 in Denver as that huge cell moved through DIA. They actually dropped down to the low 60s. Now we have bounced back up with some sunshine. 84 in Fort Collins, 80s, 90s out in the eastern plains in Akron, where that thunderstorm is right now down to 65, 68 in Frisco, 82 in Avon, 92 in Grand Junction, 78 from our weather watcher Jean Rubinsky, Rashubinsky in Boulder. She said she's had two rounds of rain today at her house and tonight you're looking at the low 60s, upper 50s for the Front Range and Eastern Plains. 40s, 50s in the high country tomorrow. Those 90s are back. 93 in Denver and Boulder. 90s out east. High country 70s and 80s and looking at your extended forecast, upper 90s on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday I think would be the best shot for maybe cracking into 100 and we do stay hot next week as well and we are putting a maybe on first alert weather days on Saturday and Sunday uh, waiting to see if the National Weather Service maybe issues a heat advisory because because we're going to be so hot. Thanks for not putting 100 on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, just I'm just trying to keep out. everyone cool at 99. <laughs> we, we appreciate yeah. that. All right, go 